Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mushoku Tensei season 2 episode number 6. Alright, the previous episode, um, we had a family reunion, uh, Paul and Rudy, they met and we can see that Paul has been going through a lot and he has been trying to find uh, uh, Zenith and Lilia for a, almost like a year, more than a year and like you know like he's like all like, you know worn out and just tired at like and everything so when he found rudy he was like okay maybe rudy found something you know because he left a letter to rudy from the guild and all that stuff has happened but rudy did not know that and that's why like you know rudy was like all talking about oh my adventures this that and paul snapped so now like the whole thing like you know like i see everything and like you know um here's one thing that i think and i kind of explained this in the previous episode as well but i'm taking rudy's side here because the thing who, who like you know the person who actually kind of started this whole like you know fight was paul because he he actually like was insulting rudy and i like you know like i, I think like even if you are like you know paul is in a very bad state like i understand that but even if you are like you know like all like something like in that state in that condition you are rudy's dad you know you should not act like that towards your son who has been trying to find you for so long and who has finally found you i understand that he has a lot of expectations on rudy like i've been actually like you know like um and kind of went to the comment section of the uh, this video uh, the video and kind of saw a lot of comments like people like mostly the people who were like you know like saying that okay like you know the way they were defending paul was that paul did not like you know like paul had a uh, huge expectations on rudy because he you know he, like, he he's like a prodigy in in a way and that's why like you know like that expectation was crushed in front of him at that moment and that's why he snapped because he had like put a lot of faith on rudy I understand that completely but the thing that i am really not like what can i say like happy about is the way paul kind of handled that situation that was very wrong for him to actually i don't know like taunt rudy like that and you know like insult him like that like after so long and that's where i actually have the problem with here otherwise i'm i'm, I'm i understand paul's like you know point of view and paul's why paul snapped i understand everything completely but that's one part that i am unable to condone you know and like you know he went too far at that and after that you know we can see like rudy also going too far after that like both of them are at fault but paul kind of instigated that you know so that's why like you know like i i feel like this whole situation is a uh, like, you know the fault lies in both the parties but since paul is the one who actually kind of instigated that whole situation by insulting rudy and just like you know bad mouthing him and uh like you know like acting like that in front of his son i kind of feel like the like you know the person who is at a bigger fault is paul and i take rudy's side in this like you know whole situation and i completely understand why like you know paul acted like this and everything i understand everything but like that one thing that paul did i am really not okay with that and uh, yeah what can i say like uh it's, it's a messy situation and it like the, you know the the whole fall lies in the um circumstances so nothing you can do about it so let's see what this episode brings hopefully they kind of make up hopefully you know because rudy really needs paul's help and paul also needs rudy's help to track down uh, Zenith and Lilia. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get started. This is episode number six of <coughs> Mushoku Densei season two. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here to sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown three, two, one, go. Oh, is this. Uh, What is this like a flashback? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, it, it, it is a flash, not flashback, but it's a recollection. So this, oh, so he already had uh, Norn with him when the mana disaster happened. So that's why they got teleported at the same time, just like how Eris and Rudy were teleported at the same time. 
I hope someone had Aisha with them, you know, like someone was holding Aisha because she's like she's a kid. Like if she actually gets transported all alone, it'll be a mess. Like Norn has ball with him, with her. Hopefully someone is with Aisha. Oh, I wonder where he got transported. Is it closer to his house? Oh, no, maybe. Yeah, no, no. It's not closer. My God. Like, he got transported in the middle of nowhere, that means. Yeah. Is this is Whoa. Is this his place? I think so. Oh, this is a uh, um Wait, who was that? I forgot. Oh, my god. Yeah, he's been trying to track down for so long. And obviously, Norn has been looking at that. So suddenly, like, you know, seeing a kid from nowhere beating up your dad, <laughs> she's gonna get pissed. Yeah. Yeah, and he started drinking and everything. <clears throat> wow. Oh boy. Damn. No, this is geese. <laughs> the roaming around having a Wait what? He knows him? Oh he knows him. What the hell? Oh So interesting, so Oh that's why he said Rudy, oh my god. That's why he told Rudy to go to the guild. Well he already met his son, so Exact. Thank you, Geese. This is the thing that I'm. I was trying to say from the previous episode. Exactly. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Exactly. He's a kid. Oh my God. Like. Exactly. Like, what were you even expecting of him? Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much, Giz. My God, this guy understands. Oh. Oh wow. What, Paul? Oh my God. Come on, Paul. Try to understand. <sighs> yeah.
Yeah. Like, yeah, like Paul is a frog in the well. Like, how the hell can he even? Yeah, exactly. Everything. <sighs> this is the thing that I really don't like about Paul. I, I hate this. Like his personality is really not... Because he was suppressing everything. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, this guy is. I don't know. Oh. I'm sorry, Paul. You. You. <laughs> Yeah. Like if he continues this, everyone's going to leave him sooner or later, even Norm. Like, this is like his, him descending. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Like, try to read between the lines, Paul. Like, everything should not be said. Like, you know, everything. It doesn't go as smoothly as you think it would. Oh my god, lad, this is tra this is traumatizing him now. Mm. Yeah, hopefully he actually like you know bounces back. Like the way he is now, he he definitely won't be able to continue like this. Like how are you even supposed to go on? Is this Paul? Yeah, it is Paul. Okay, Arius, calm down. Uh, maybe not. Maybe he does need... Alright, Paul. Don't joke around. Don't joke around at this time, you know. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Yeah. <laughs> the the bartender is like. Ah. <laughs> uh. oh. Mm. <clears throat> mm, yeah, kind of. Damn, she's like, like he, you know, he's like talking like it's like a business exchange. Cannot blame him. No, you did not. Uh, this is the way he actually hides, like, damn. What? What's okay. yeah um but one thing's good like roxy saw that so roxy's actually <laughs> the part <laughs> uh. probably go try to find the mom and oh yeah Er Eris is Eris is yeah Yeah, okay, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh. Uh, the bartender. <laughs> Damn, the bartender is. Ah, uh, yes, true. Yeah, he's not been looking at him. Yeah, he, he shaved. <laughs> he shaved. <laughs> and freshened up. Yeah, his own face. His own face. He's, yeah, exactly. Damn, who's this? Damn. Ooh, please. Ah. Yeah, his own reason was bullying, that's why, you know? yeah oh boy okay but yeah this is a bit too far just like paul just like how paul <sighs> just like how paul reacted yep Yeah. But Paul came. Yeah, but Paul came. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's good on his part, you know. Suggestion. <laughs> oh, 30. Hmm. <laughs> oh boy wow Oh boy. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, well, there you go. What? What? Whoa, oh, okay, wait, <laughs> what the hell is Rudy even saying? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, whoa! Oh my god, <laughs> you just beat her up. <laughs> um, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh yeah, I <laughs> can just see it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, what is he going to do now? Like, I wonder. Like, he said he's going to go to Fito. All right. Okay, that's good. Yeah, and there's no one left there. Oh my god. Yep. <sighs> we know what happened to the grandfather, so... Oh, we don't know anything about Ghislaine still. Yeah, she must have thought about this. Yeah, like, all this time. She, like, this must have come to her head, like, something must have happened to them. So, she...
Dạ. Uh. Oh boy. Yeah. Ah, uh, Norn is not uh. Uh, yeah. Oh my god. Oh yeah, he, he loves children. I forgot about that. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go. <laughs> Gave him a figurine. <laughs> yep. Yeah, exactly. Huh. Bigger it. Oh, he's going to help. Nice. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, there you go. Happy ending. <laughs> All right, that's it. Reunion. All right, that was this episode. This is episode number six of season two. All right, so now we see everything in a more broader light. We see what happened to uh, to Paul, the whole thing with Norn, and then you know like how he like you know became someone like this like you know this worn out tired and you know what what actually happened we see everything in a little flashback we see how you know they were like transported in like a middle of nowhere grassland and you know like he and Anon had to go through quite a lot of things after before she, they were able to return to their homeland and then like, you know finding out that the whole place is gone completely then you know trying to figure out where they might go making search parties like you know strategizing like and like you know hiring adventures to try to find them all that stuff and finding other people as well but unable to find her his own family you know and non has been you know kind of watching this from the beginning seeing how her dad kind of uh like you know deteriorates over time due to like stress and you know being worn out all that you know like stuff and non was probably the only one who was keeping paul in his you know like like letting paul keep going non was probably that type of a pers person to him at that time you know like giving encouragement to him in her own small little ways and uh, then they obviously we know what happens after that they meet rudy and yeah we know we know what happens and like i have to say geese was like uh, like you know the the actual person who completely turned this thing around and i'm very much grateful to him for this episode because he 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 really drives the point in into paul's head you know he really drives it and everything that i was actually feeling in the previous episode geese very nicely actually summarizes that and puts it in front of paul and like you know all the uh, places where paul was actually wrong and you know like he 
he summarizes it very nicely and actually gives a counter argument to it. And I was really impressed with Guy's, like, you know, actually completely turning the whole thing around by just talking to him for like five to 10 minutes. And like everything that I was thinking, Guy's very perfectly just drives it into Paul's head. And the, the main thing that I was telling from the previous episode, look, you know, like, like, uh, what was that? Yeah. You expected too many things of a 11 year old kid. Now that was it. Like Guy says that didn't you expect too much things of Rudy? Like what, what were you even thinking? Like now here's the thing. Mm, again, as I said, I understand where Paul is coming from. You know, I understand why he got mad. I understand everything, but that does not like mean that, you know, like he's his son. Like he could have just, you know, like hugged him, said that, oh, I'm glad you're back, you know, have a happy reunion, then talked with him about the whole situation, you know, and like, you know, like then, then he might've gone mad, after, like, you know, became mad after that, after he learned that Rudy did not go to the guild and was like playing around. He could, after that, he would have been like, like, how, why didn't you go there? And like, you know, kind of like uh, scold him in a way and reprimand him and say that you should definitely like, you know, like, like in this, he should have like handled the situation like this instead of just snapping at him and insulting him from the get go. You know, after listening to Rudy's tale, he just snapped at him and started insulting him. That's not how you should work. This is not how you should do something. You know, like I, I know that he has a lot of expectations and it really does kind of hurt when your expectations are betrayed. But that's not the way you actually handle this situation. Now, obviously, like I also understand that the way he handled the situation were because of two reasons. Number one, he was drunk and worn out. Like, you know, like his mental condition was not in a proper way to actually judge a situation and uh, talk in a more appropriate manner. He snapped because of that, because he's been worn out and he is just, you know, at the end of his uh, rope. So he snapped because of that. I understand. That's the first reason. Another reason, which I think is the reason why he's like, you know, acted like this is because of his own personality. Now, here's the thing. I like and I've been like, you know, like we've been uh, observing Paul from the first episode. And this is one thing that I have been able to understand about him, his personality. He jumps into conclusion too much, you know, he and he's impulsive. He's hot headed and he that's that's his main flaw of his personality. You know, he's too hot headed and jumps into some kind of conclusion and just snaps without even listening to some other people. That's what Paul is. And that's another big reason why he kind of acted like this, you know, without even listening to Rudy and without even thinking of the fact that Rudy also must have gone through a lot of tough situations. So I probably should not scream at, uh, like, you know, uh, talk bad about him and like, you know, trash talk him, insult him and try to attack him. I probably should not do that. He did not think about it like that. He just snapped just like that. like. One, one reason is obviously, as I said, his personality, his impulsive personality, his hot-headed personality. And another reason is because of his condition. He's just worn out and tired at that moment. These were the two reasons why he did something like that. And I don't blame him for the worn out situation, but his personality, it is like you know, a little bit weird in a way. And that's what I was really not liking about him from, from first few episodes as well. Like, you know, his personality being like this now, obviously like it's his personality. You can't do anything about it. Like I know that, but like, you know, like at least in front of your family members, you know, try to keep a little calm headed, like, you know, take, take a little bit of rational decisions, but yeah, like you can't do anything about that. It's, it's just him, you know, he's just like this. You have to accept it. You, know, you can't do anything about a few situations and yeah that's just one of it so yeah like that was like the reason why he kind of acted like that and you can see like you know when geese has been trying to make him understand what what he did wrong and where he was wrong he was like you know con constantly talking back and trying to like you know like say that oh like yeah rudy rudy is like a um a, a very like you know talented person like am i wrong to actually put my hopes in him you know and then he was like oh he was with uh Richard, so nothing should have been a problem with him oh he was like you know like uh like like you know he has been talking so 
uh, happily about the whole situation. So yeah, it, it, he he felt like you know it was no problem for him. It must be like all these things, like you know him jumping into conclusions just by appearance like he looked at the situation like, you know like he looked at everything he looked that oh rigid is here he's a strong guy he looked at rudy talking happily he looked at everything at face value and just came into like you know constructed a conclusion that yeah rudy has been playing around nothing is like you know was a problem he's just having a nice fun time in the demon continent and while i have been trying to find the mom like, you know and zenith and lilia that's the conclusion he came to. He did not even try to think about the underlying, you know, layers of Rudy, the way he actually tried to, uh, like, you know, make it seem as if Rudy has been okay because he's been concerned about Paul himself. Now, this is one thing that I also did not really, you know, think about in a way. The thing that Guy said that, like, when uh, Paul says that, um, so why was he talking so happily with me? You know, uh, so... Like, you know, that's when Guy says that, like, why do you think of, like, you know, why, why, like, uh, okay, just, where is it? Where is that section? Oh, yeah, here is it. Here it is. He says that, um, <clears throat> it was because he did not want to make you more, um, anxious and, uh, you know, worry you. He did not want to worry you more. And this is one thing that I really did not think about it in this way. I like, you know, all this time I've been thinking the way the, the reason why he's been suppressing everything is because he like, that's like his personality. He does not want to make you know, stuff uh, tough for all the other people that he does not want to bring his own problems into a situation like this, which is kind of correct at, at the same time. But another big reason was which after hearing geese, I was able to understand that Rudy was actually trying to act happy because he saw Paul in that condition. He saw that Paul is almost like, you know, breaking down and just worn out and tired. So he thought that, okay, let me just make everything seem as if everything has gone well, because I don't want to pile my problems on top of Paul again. I don't want to you know, make him more anxious. That was his point, like, you know, thought process at that time, which I was able to kind of understand, but I wasn't able to understand in this way, which kind of makes it even more, like you know sad for rudy because after that after he tried to act happy like that and tried to make everything okay with paul and tried to like you know put out like you know like make a nice exterior and make it seem as if like yeah everything is fine with me you don't have to worry about me dad even after he tried this paul snapped and paul acted in that manner which kind of makes it even sadder for rudy because he he tried to suppress his own problems his own like you know stuff that he has been going through his own mental conflicts just so that paul could be a little bit more like, you know um should just so that paul should not uh, actually worry about him and he did not want his problems to be piled on top of paul with everything that was going on so seeing like you know like after that thing that he did the way paul acted it it, it must have hurt him in a lot deeper way than you know than we thought it would so that makes it even sadder in a way so yeah so all that stuff we see geese kind of like you know nails everything into paul's head and like as i was saying like when i was seeing paul seeing paul uh, when i was seeing that paul was talking with geese and the way he was actually you know uh, retorting back to the way uh geese was like geese was trying to make him understand but he was continuously trying to like you know i don't know retort in a way like when geese said that uh like he was trying to uh like you know not to worry you paul was like oh so he doesn't think that i'm worth of being worrying like you know like i'm I don't, I'm, I'm a bad dad so that's why he doesn't even want to do that like he's like twisting things in a way in in, in a very negative way and Obviously, that was because he was drunk, I guess, you know, he was drunk and, you know, worn out. But I think, like, as I said, like, you know, people might try to say here that, yeah, he was drunk. He was, like, you know, out of his mind at that moment. That's why he was trying to, he was acting like this. But as I said, like, you know, like, I have watched him from episode one. And as far as I can understand, his personality is kind of like that, you know. Like, he tries to kind of, 
like mold everything in a negative manner whenever something like you know happens uh, because if you remember that that, that episode with the kid who like you know like rudy kind of uh like you know like rudy yeah rudy hit the kid because he was bullying self selfie self yet um at that time when he comes back that just kind of flies into rage slaps him or punches him i don't remember what he did and just like you know starts going like you know like t making conclusions out of something that someone else told him and doesn't even listen to me that's like paul's personality impulsive hot-headed and just doesn't listen to anyone and twists everything in his own negative fashion and that's the part of personality that i really don't like about paul like you know that kind of like you know rubs me in a wrong way this type of personality it's probably just me because you know like 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 I, I i'm usually very like you know what do you say forgiving with anime characters like you know i really don't uh look at anime characters or some anime in a negative fashion i try to always find a good thing about some anime or anime character but this is probably one personality trait that i really despise you know about not only paul i'm talking about every anime character that i come across like this type of a personality who just like you know let's tries to like you know i don't know like twist everything in a neg negative fashion and just uh, i don't know it's like a, a weird feeling where you feel as if like yeah he's he's not a bad guy i understand that but at the same time his personality is bad like this type of a feeling like it's probably because i know that he is a good person but at the same time the things that that he is doing is not good and that's probably what actually kind of rubs me the wrong way because i know he's worth uh like you know he's 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 a good character but that personality is the thing that actually messes everything up i don't know i don't know like that's probably just me but this is one thing that i really don't like about a few anime characters this type of personality trait it's like you know it seems as if it's too real i think that's probably it you know this personality trait that paul has it's too realistic you know like this type of like i've seen quite a few people irl irl who has this type of a personality and that's probably what actually rubs me the wrong way you know this is just a personal personal thing you know so yeah it's too realistic paul's like you know character is too realistic that's why i kind of i think i kind of really did, do not you know like i take it a bit more seriously than something else like yeah i kind of understand why i'm a bit pissed at paul it's because his personality is too realistic and i actually have encountered a few people who have paul's you know character yeah, that's probably it. I understand it now. Why I'm so pissed off at Paul. So yeah, that's just me. That's my personal thing, you know. So yeah, like... <laughs> oh boy. Uh, but anyways, like, the one thing that I can respect about Paul is that he actually apologized. Like, that's the biggest thing here. Like, because, like, you know, these type of people usually don't actually swallow their pride. These type of people actually kind of try keeping this way and, like, you know, keeps acting this way, acts like a douche. But Paul actually listened to Geese, understood everything. He thought of everything in his own way and kind of, like, you know, when he settled down, he understood everything and he realized that, yeah, I was in the wrong. And then he took the next step as well and decided to apologize to uh, Rudy which was the best thing you know about Paul and I respect that about him because it is difficult it is really difficult to apologize to someone and they, if that person is especially your son or your family member that's even more harder you know so like immense respect to Paul that he was able to actually apologize like you know like yeah apologize to Rudy and who is like his you know his family member and he was able to swallow his pride and just you know make everything okay again like that's the best thing and obviously and then we get to see the next scene with with the you know, in the bar in the tavern <laughs> damn the bartender really helped he was like <laughs> when rudy was going over he was like kid sit down you have more things to talk here this is on the house <laughs> damn like geese and geese and the bartender they were the mvp of this episode <laughs> oh boy geese like you know geese made like you know like uh were able to pave the path for paul and this bartender was able to <laughs> like you know like hold rudy down so that he can talk more with paul and like, you know the problem gets solved so yeah anyways and then we you know get to get to the tavern scene we see paul actually apologizing 
and Rudy was kind of like you know you're not even looking at Paul because he was actually you know like cons- like afraid and anxious of looking at Paul because you know like I kind of understand how why what Rudy was feeling at that moment he was like uh, there's a lot of things that was going on at him at the same time For, first of all he was obviously like afraid of looking at him because he's his own dad and the way he acted that hurt him that's number one number two is he was anxious that you know like he himself realized that he never did anything you know like he himself realized his own fault you know that's why he wasn't able to look at paul because of his own guilt his own anxiousness that's number two and there are a few of other reasons as well i guess because you know like of his own personality because you know like he's like a character who has been bullied and they usually are not able to like you know look at people in their eye because you know they are afraid you know that's like their what can i say like like something that has been ingrained within them because they've been bullied for so long i think so at least that's why like you know like he he's, he's anxious he wasn't able to look at paul and a few other reasons as well like everything was going on around at the, inside him at the same time he didn't even look at paul because of fear and guilt and a lot of other things as well so he was basically like you know he kind of talked with paul and decided to just leave but thankfully the bartender stopped him and the bartender was like just look at him for a second you'll understand and then he looks at paul and he sees paul actually suffering and he realized that yeah you know like i should also probably try to look at him and understand everything from his perspective and then he remembered his own like you know past where he was the person who acted like paul to a friend who was like rudy to him and he realized that the thing that paul did here was the same thing that he did you know like the kid like you know the other friend was kind of talking to him as if like oh like you're having it so good just like how rudy was like you know talking as if everything was so great with him and he was at paul's position while like you know when he thought that yeah you don't know what i've been going through so how can like a talk so like you know uh uh you know like easily and casually like this to me where you don't even know what i've been going through and he snapped and tried to like you know uh beat him so it was the same thing that paul did and he like you know was really able to kind of draw the parallel and realize what was actually going on with the situation you know like the kid uh, like uh, the, uh, the friend was rudy and rudy in the real world was paul at that position and he was able to understand what paul was feeling because he had gone through this a while ago so and then the thing that actually kind of made him you know respect paul is that rudy never tried to go to the friend and apologize but paul here paul is paul tried to like you know is trying to apologize and trying to make everything okay so that's probably what made him realize that yeah like like i wasn't able to gather that courage to go and apologize for my mistake but paul is here and paul is apologizing so i should not like you know hold it against him like you know we are a family and we should help each other and so that's why he said that you know what let's forget yesterday yesterday it never happened <laughs> and then they kind of hugged and yeah that was a fantastic way they executed this damn that was amazing and obviously the last scene where we see you know excuse me Eris uh, Richard coming in Eris got beat up by Richard because he was she was acting too <laughs> you know <laughs> she, she was a bit too restless I guess that's why and you know they talk and like they make a new plan and uh, also Eris like you know like he tells Eris that something must have happened to the people and Eris obviously knows that you know because I'm sure he she must have thought about something like this so she was ready to confront anything and everything that they're going to see back in their home home uh homeland and uh, yeah and then they go on their journey uh, oh and then thankfully they got uh, money and the recommendation thing it will make their journey a lot more smoother and uh, yeah and uh, like one thing that is kind of a shame is that norn never like you know reconciled with rudy but you know like she's a kid like what else can you expect like you know she's going to take everything at face value and she saw like rudy uh you know beating up his dad and she's like yeah rudy bad dad good you know because obviously she's a kid she won't be able able to understand the uh intricacies and like you know like the 
like these type of uh, like problems which are like more uh, emotional and you know like uh, what do you call this type of complicated situation like she's a kid she won't be able to understand that so you know like she's like yeah like i don't want to <laughs> look at rudy but then rujit came and kind of said that you know but like uh appreciate your like you know like brothers your siblings more because yeah like rujit really understands that because he lost his whole family and uh, yeah that's why i appreciate and i'm sure like that kind of like you know will make uh non and as non grows up i'm i'm sure she'll be able to um you know understand and look at the situation in a more broader perspective and she'll be able to understand what actually happened there and she'll be able to understand that rudy is not a bad person so yeah like that it'll take time but it'll it'll definitely happen so yeah that was good and then we see like you know gee's also saying that yeah i'll also help and yeah that was that damn this as i said this was a really well executed episode i'm i'm loving this like you know these two episodes this episode and previous episode like it had it had so many layers of things you know like the way paul looks at the world the way rudy looks at the world like you know both of them clashing and in a way you know like both of them coming into a conflict and then and uh, like you know like these kind of coming in and giving them the solution to the problem and them actually acting on that and solving the problem this was like these two episodes were that and it was fantastically executed and yeah as i said like you know like both of them like you know rudy and paul both of them kind of went overboard a little bit and you know like stuff happened but everything is all okay now and i don't blame paul i don't blame rudy i don't blame any of them but as i said like you know like paul's personality is something that i have encountered in the real world and like you know it feels too real and that's probably why i am a bit more critical about paul because his personality his character feels too real too realistic and you know it's just a personal thing and that's probably why i like you know i and that part, part of paul's personality i really don't like but I, the one thing that i really like about paul is that he was able to swallow his pride and like apologize for this problem and that's the biggest thing here like he was able even though he has a fault he was able to overcome it in a way and he was able to go beyond that and ask for forgiveness like that's the best thing about paul and yeah i really respect that so that's it so that's it that's my reaction to episode number 6 of mushu patan sai season 2 if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll definitely check them out that's it so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of mushu patan sai until then goodbye and have a nice day